if you look on most of the organizations, they are still staying with an unstable security structure that is built layer upon layer, year over year, according to IT perspective, without any strategy. And this kind of unstable structure not only can be breached easily, it puts on the organization's new set of problems, like alert fatigue, weak visibility and control, collisions between different implemented solutions in the network, and poor understanding of the attacker. And you see that the CEOs continue to lose their job over the big security breach. You see two examples. The target CEO who resigned at uh, 2014, and the Equifax CEO who resigned at 2017. And the common between these two examples, cybersecurity was perceived as an IT issue. Something technical that the IT guys of the organization are expected to manage. Cyber defense is out to make your business safer. And it is a fight against a real actor. Similar in concept to, to a battle. Something that is much broader than IT. So with this feeling that cybersecurity can't continue to be an IT issue, I started my role as the head of the Cyber Defense Department uh, in the IDF in 2013. And I understood that something significant in our perception in the military has to be changed. And I had four conclusions. The first conclusion was that I need a major paradigm shift in the way I approach cyber. I understood that I need to move from a cyber security mindset to a cyber defense mindset. It's only a word, but it's a big difference. My second conclusion was that the IT point tools are not enough. When we are talking about IT point tools, we are talking about a tool that give the answer for a local area. If I have a point tool that on a PC is give an answer to a PC. If I have an antivirus, it's giving the answer for a virus. It's not give you an holistic approach, a holistic solution. Hackers have a lot of time to test different cybersecurity products. They can buy the product and can test it and find what the, the weak spot. And they can prepare themselves to bypass them. So I understand that only putting surprises on the way of the attackers can help me stop them or slow them down. My third conclusion was that if you try to defend everything, you actually defend nothing. No one have unlimited resources. Invest money that I have to defend the areas that can keep me out of balance. And my fourth conclusion, my last conclusion was that warfare is warfare. And when you are looking at the challenges in the cyber arena, in comparison with our experience from real world terror attacks, we can understood that also we are looking at two different types of warfare, we are experiencing similar challenges. So it will not be a mistake to adapt some methods 
and behaviors from other domains.